Remember, with sigma notation questions, we find the first three terms. That helps us to work out what pattern we have. So for term one, you start with whatever this number is. In this example, it is a one, but it doesn't always have to be a one. So we can say two times two, and then one plus one, and that would give us eight. Then we just keep the process going on. So now it'll be a two plus a one, and that's 16. And then the last one, that'll be 32. So you can see that this is geometric. They are multiplying by two each time. So we could go up to term eight if you wanted to, and then you would add everything together like we had to do in question 18. However, we can do this in a much better way. We know that the sigma notation symbol stands for finding the sum. So we just use the sum formula of a geometric pattern. And so we finding, well, we need to see how many terms we have. Now remember, it's not always going to be the same as this number at the top, but it is if this number is a one. But remember, the proper way to work out the number of terms is to go top number minus the bottom number, and then always add one. So that's going to be eight minus one plus one. So in this example, there will be eight terms. So to find the sum of A terms, we go A. A is always your term 1, which is 8. The ratio, we are multiplying by 2, then to the power of 8, and then over 2 minus 1. And that gives us 2,040.